Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will show you how you can work with all the Elementor Pro elements. In this video we will take a look at the price list element. If you want to get Elementor Pro then click on the link below in the description. And if you buy Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission, so thank you for that. If you want to see the result of all the Elementor Pro elements, then go to elementor2018.com and go to the page Elementor Pro. Here I will show you all the elements. So let's get started. Now let's take a look at the price list over here. I drag it here and this is what you will see. If I save this and I refresh the page, this is how it looks like. It's ideal when you have a menu you want to show for your restaurant or something like that. This is a really nice element. And this is not all. There are a lot of different options. We can configure it. So if we take a look at the item, we can change the price. 90.99 we can add an image insert we can have a link so if you click on it you go to a certain page second item same story and the third one We can add more items, of course. If we go to the style, we can change the color of the title. We can change the typography, make it bigger, smaller. And also here you can change the size individually for a desktop, tablet or smartphone. Change the font family, the weight. You can make it uppercase, line height. You can change the color of the description and the typography. The separator, you can make it dashed like that or solid or nothing. I like the dotted version, make it a little bit smaller like that. Change the color of that, change the spacing. The image style, you can make it bigger. Or smaller we can have a radius we can change the spacing between the image and the text and the item style we can have gaps between the rows we can align the text to the center or to the bottom I like the center so that's what you can do and here again we can have some margin from the outside 20 pixels, 30. What you also can do, click over here, duplicate it and have two areas. If you don't want to do this, say command or control Z. What I want to do now, I go to the style typography. I change it to 15 and again, I want to duplicate it. I save it. I refresh it. So that's how it looks. One more thing, of course. Duplicate this, bring it down, and what I want to do now, I want to add two columns, drag them over here. The first one I drag here at the left, the second one I drag here at the right, this one I remove, now it looks like that. I change this to price list element refresh and that's how it is done of course a little bit more padding like that and to make it complete go over here and grab a few different things refresh and that is how it is done Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe if you want to have more videos, and then I will see you next time. I wish you the best. Bye bye.